Captain. Incoming message. Hello, hello, hello. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I want to... Someone had requested kind of a... I don't know, kind of a show, but more of almost like a little tutorial on amazing follower tweaks. And I have an idea of doing this, but I kind of want to do this in two phases. So you need two mods, actually. You need amazing follower tweaks. Now, you don't have to have anything but amazing follower tweaks if you're just going to use a normal follower, okay? Like... If I have a normal follower, let me find somebody like these, these four followers I did a show on, okay? Um, these followers would be in the game where they're supposed to be, and using amazing follower tweaks, you can just walk up to them. You don't even have to do anything. They're already set to be your follower, so you just talk to them, and they will follow you, and then you just use amazing follower tweaks to change their armor and all that stuff, okay, and go through their spells and do all that. So I'm going to show you all of that, but I'm going to do it in a different way because I also want to show you, kind of want to do a two for one. So amazing follower tweaks, once somebody's your follower, you can do a lot with them, and you can also make followers with amazing follower tweaks, though it's a little different than some of the others, and I, I want to show you the two things about that. Now, another mod that is really good to have, though, for what I'm going to show you, it, it's the first the first part, especially. Um, you need the cheat room. Because the cheat room gives you... Oh, I went right past it. The cheat room gives you some spells. But with these two, with these two mods, you can pretty much make most any follower you want out of most anybody in the game. Now... I warn you, there are some characters, some NPCs, that resist the cheat room and AFT spells, and there's nothing we can do about that. There just are. There are some vampires that resist it. You may remember a certain uh, video of mine. It's pretty funny. But a lot of times, you can even, and I've done this, you can even make enemies your follower, and you don't have to mess with your faction or anything. Uh, but it does take some work. And especially messing with vampires, vampires appear to be more unique than others. But like, um, there was, let's see, there was a caster that I killed, and then I cast, um, you know, I made a cast to make a follower on them, and then I cast resurrect, and when they resurrected, they were my follower. Now, that's what I remember. Now, it's been a long time since I did that, but... Um, but you can make some of your enemies your followers, and they'll just be followers. But I'm not going to show you that, because that's really more... It's more temperamental, like I said. Because if you choose, like, vampires, if you saw that one video of mine when you do vampires, there's no telling what you'll get. There's so many different vampires. Some of them are totally immune to all these spells, and then some are not. Anyway, but I want to show you a simple way to do this. So we're going to use the cheat room and we're going to use the cheat spell for me and we're going to make a follower out of just an NPC. Now, like I said, some NPCs do resist this, but I know some that don't. Okay? So I'm going to pop into the game. I'm going to go into White Run and we're going to pick on you've seen me use her before, Olfina Greymane, and I'm going to show you how I make her a follower. I make a copy of her, and then I make the copy my follower. Though once you make a copy, it doesn't matter which one you use, I don't think. I've not had any trouble with this, and it's always worked fine for me. So, just, uh, I will meet you in White Run. Oh. All right, so I'm in the Bannered Mare. Now, I was going to use Olfina Greymane. However, she is not here at the moment. Okay. But that's okay. The first thing I want to do is explain to you, when you get the cheat room and you first load in, you're going to get some spells. They're going to be in alteration. First of all, there's cheat teleports. You probably know that. The cheat, that's to teleport you in and out of the cheat room. But there's two other spells, cheat spell and cheat spell options. If you put cheat spell options on your left and cheat spell on your right, Need something? So that you have both spells. Now on the left, you click that, 
and this is your options, and you have a bunch of menus to go through, okay? The first menu has a set follower. You can kill somebody without getting in trouble. You can resurrect somebody if they're dead, like sometimes I resurrect the guards for fun. You can send somebody to White Run, or you can, you know, view their NPC, you know, view their inventory. And this is to set push actor away. I, I don't really mess with that, so. But this was not the one we wanted, so let's try again. We're looking for, now this is push. This is so you can push people away. I don't really use that. Um, let's see. This is so you can make them a friend or an enemy. And I, I have used this at different times to try to make someone an ally. Um, and this may be what I'm looking for. So this has them unequip all, remove all factions. Clone actor. Now clone actor means basically you're going to make a copy of the NPC. So I'm going to select this by hitting A, clone actor. Now the spell, now that we've done the option, let me go up. Now that we've set the option to clone actor, the cheat spell is going to clone the actor, okay? Whether I use Sadia here or Holda, which you're looking for? Hold I was for thinking about day. using her. Let's see if she'll... If you need more from yep, the drink, there we go. So there, now we have two Sadias. Now this is our copy. Hold on a second. Mind your manners and pay your bills. Now she always be welcome. is a copy. Now please, no more questions. Now hold on a second. We're going to set follower. So I'm going to hit A to set follower. Now I'm going to use the cheat spell. And I'm going to cast that on her. Now when I talk to her, I can say, follow me, I need your help. Okay. So I'm going to click Lead that. Away. Now she'll be my follower. I was going to use Olfina, but this, this girl will work fine. And she does come equipped. You can get her some other stuff. And you can also look at her stats and things. Okay, so that's one way to make her a follower. Okay. Now we'll get into the other AFT stuff in a minute. But that's one way to make her a follower. Now there is another way. Sometimes... You need to use this. I can't tell you when it's going to happen, but sometimes you can't get someone to be your follower. And yet, if you use this, they will be your follower. Now, they will not follow the same, all the same stuff. Like, the conversations may not always be the same, like Vex. I can make Vex follow me using this, but she always says she has no business with me, and she's always angry at me. So, I can make it work, but it's funny that her attitude towards me is different. It's not like she's an ally. The, using the other method, the cheat room method, she's really much more of an ally follower. But let's just play around here. Now I have my set power set for tweak follower, right? So first of all, we'll make a copy of Holda first, okay? So let me go over here and select clone actor. Okay, I'm going to clone Holda. All right. Now, hold up, hold up. I enjoy up. this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. Now, even though we make a copy of them, they still give us anyway, what do you quests need? and do all that stuff. Now, hold on a second. Need anything else? Now, Just that. remember that I have my power on my bumper set to this. No. This is what I'm going to hit her with right now. And it says, oh, she's a potential follower. And you can do this by hitting OK. And now, all I have to do what is talk to her. To? and say, manage with AFT. And this is going to make her a follower. All right, so now she is a follower. I think I've got some mugs needs to cover. See, now she's going to be following me like the other girl. The original Holda is fine. She's fine. This Holda fine to you, will still, with a sword. she'll still course, give you quests and works and stuff. Up. It's the same as if uh, she is still her regular innkeeper self, but she's also your follower. Or just plain thirsty. Okay, so you can still sell her firewood. So there's a number of things you can do. You can ask her about rumors. She's still basically the same, okay? You've just made a copy of her and made her your follower. But she's still basically the same character. Um, you can also do this with uh, the Dark Brotherhood girl whose name is escaping me right now. Oh, anyway, 
Astrid. Yeah, you can also do this with her, and it's kind of funny because you can still do your quests with her and everything while she's your follower. Okay, so let's let's move Until on. Until next time. All right, so we have these two followers. And they're going to they're going to follow us. Let's see. Here we go. Where's the other girl? There she is. So she's coming. Okay, so they're going to follow us. They're our followers, right? Now I'm going to get us out of here, and I'm going to take us to the cheat room, because it's a little easier to do a it few things working. in the cheat room. Let me, um, I'm going to set my power to tweak commands, okay? How about now, chopping up some wood for... I'm going to select the cheat teleport. Fires. Now, I'm going to teleport to the cheat room. I'm trying not to do anything really fast, but I'm so accustomed to doing this that I just do it. I don't really think about it. Now, on my bumper... Remember on my bumper is the tweak commands, okay? When I hit the bumper, it comes up with this. Just hit actions and summon, and this will summon your active followers. It will not summon followers that you've dismissed. Not at this point. And there, the, there we go. We have them here in the cheat room with us. And when you leave the cheat room, you'll have to summon them to you again. But it's, it's worthwhile, because then you have them in this contained area. They can't get in too much trouble without you. Now, still here. How AFT works that. from here forward? This is from here forward. This is all going to be about AFT. That's that's the way you can use the cheat room to make a follower, and the way you can use AFT to make a follower. But now, there will be some subtle differences, but not anything major. But now, it's up to us. We just go here. You want to you want to change her gear? You just select gear and enable outfit management. There's other options you can take and play around with, but I'm just going to go through the basics of what I do. Now, I am using that Pyrocast body steel, which I need to do a show on and get rid of it because it's... The combination of it and its textures are it is not the best for my game. It's a little slow, but it's okay. It you know does work. Now, from here, you can look at her standard outfit or her backpack or if you go back to the main menu let's, let's get all the way out or if you let's do this going, then. Still here. you can at the main menu now she can you can open her backpack and do whatever you want there or you can do I need to trade some things with you and this is where you can give her everything you want to give her and have her wear it and you can take any stuff you don't want her to wear you can also do it back in the other menu but all you have to do to do that is go gear. It's a little further in. Is do view this or view that. And it works the same. Both of these options work the same. But I think it's easier just from the main menu to just do this. Like, what's she got in her backpack? Anything interesting? Hmm. If there's anything you wanted, you could take it. It's a lot of, lot of stuff. Not, nothing. No big deal. So... What, what is she carry? wearing? What has she got here? She has a dagger, a ring, and some clothes. Now you want to make her something. Let's say you want to make her something good to wear. You I don't know. We'll we'll figure that out. Here. Okay, we'll we'll deal with these one at a time. This will show you. It's pretty simple. Alright, so let me see. Where is that? Let's make her a Shanoa outfit, I think, for fun. I think it's going to be down here. I don't think I have a lot of fancy, you know, uh, outfits or uh, armor mods. But I think I have Shanoa down here. Should be in the S's, right? Yep, there we go. So let's do... Oh, we might prefer the short. Matter of fact, maybe we'll do the same for both of them. We'll just give them both this outfit for fun. All right, now you can also make them circlets, weapons, whatever you want to do. Like, uh, if you want to, um, you can make them both some swords. Um, actually, I have Nightingale. Don't I have the Nightingale buck bucklers, or is that? That might be on the other game. Yeah, I don't seem to have that here, and that's okay. 
All right, so that's it. Okay. So we'll just do that, and we'll make them a couple of. Uh, what'll look good with that? Hmm. Know, I'm not sure what will look good with that. Honestly, let's make them a couple of stall room shields they can use if they want to. This is just going to be for fun, just to show you what you can do. All right. So now we started with Sadia, so let's to. continue. Let's just trade some things. What do you want me to carry? First, I'm just going to give her the stuff I want her to have. I'm just going to give her that sword. Okay, she equipped that. I'm going to give her... Where is that? Um, shield. Oh, shield. Shield goes under apparel. Duh. So we'll go down to Shinoa and Stalrim. And we'll give her that. Okay, so let's give her... I'm going to give her the short armor. And gauntlets. And boots. I kind of like this. This is a newer a newer mod thing. And I kind of like it. Um, we could give her this shield, but I don't know. I really thought... I was really hoping that the star rim shield would look okay. We'll see. We'll see. It'll be it'll be something anyway. Let's get going. Eh, it looks all right. It's not the best, but it looks okay. So there, and I didn't even have to take I've her things. You now you can take her other things. What do you want me to carry? But most of the times, if you give them better equipment, they'll use the better equipment. If they don't, then you come in here and you just take it away. You just say, "Oh, I'm gonna take this away, so you won't wear that again." And it's that simple. And then she'll only have this stuff to use, so that's what she'll use, which is Let's good. Let's get going, now. right? Okay, now where's Holda? Now Holda, if I'm just out and about, love. Even though the bannered mare can do without me for a bit, I suspect. <laughs> even though we made her a little differently, this should work basically the same way. Does she have new rumors for us? Let's see if she has new rumors. Have you seen that shrine of Asura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Mara. Yes, the one good thing about Sight grabbing one of these quest givers is that you can continue to get... <laughs> you can continue to get People your rumors. There's someone in Riften that can change your face. Make you look completely different. Do you believe that? So, okay. Did we get done? Is that everything? Okay, I think that's all she had for me. Alright, so let's go in. and let's Let's enable outfit management on her. You have to give this a minute. This is usually this is a lot quicker, but I'm using that Powercast body and the uh, and its uh, replacer, and it, it's it's all kind of slowing down my stuff. So anyway, all right. So anyway, again, we can go into her standard outfit here, or you can go out to the main menu and see what she has. She has this stuff here. All right, that's fine. But let's give her something better. Let's give her that sword. Let's give her... Oh, we have to go down to the S's again. Here we go. We're getting there. Alright, so let's give her the boots. The gauntlets. I think the short armor's better and there's less clipping. That's why I use that. The other one is fine, but I, I prefer this one because there's less clipping to it. Until okay. next time. So now, <laughs> that's the only bad thing, is that she's basically chopping herself in half with this shield. But you get the idea. See, you can outfit them, and they will use what you give them. That's the whole idea, right? Now let's go get into a little bit of trouble, and uh, we'll let them fight for us. Oh, wait. I forgot. We also can teach them spells. Whatever spells you know, you can teach them. Well, vanilla spells. It has to be spells that are in the game. It can't be... Like, I can teach them both flames and healing, but I can't teach them any of these cheat spells. They will not know those, or the free camera stuff. They won't learn any of that. But if it's vanilla spells, they will learn them. Like flames and um, healing. They won't learn creation club or mod spells. 
I don't get much time off from the tavern, but I enjoy it when I do. I'm getting the noise like one of them is working on the wheel over there. Let me let me do the grindstone and hop off and see if that'll shut it up. There we go. Wow, that was weird. Anyway, so let's let's learn a few spells and teach them some spells. Let me find spell tomes. Okay, so give me a minute. I'm on. I'm going to learn some spells. Okay, so I learned some basic spells here for Penny. Nothing, nothing big. We did, um, let's see, nothing there. I did a few conjur a few destructions. I did a conjuration spell. So let's teach them first to conjure and heal. I'm right behind you. And what you do is you come in here under tweak options. You go to magic. And you say teach equip spells. That's why I equipped the spells. You have to equip them. I didn't say that, but so you have to equip it. That's in my left hand, and that's in my right hand. You can do two at a time, because you only have two hands. So it I, has to be I equipped spells. So you come into Magic, and you come down here, and you teach them these spells. It says if they know, if they can learn them, they will learn them. And like I said, there's certain spells that they will not learn. But there, those are simple vanilla spells that they can learn. Let's, so, get let's just go ahead and teach them both these working, spells. Because we're going to take them out so you can see them. They will actually use uh, these spells as it suits them. I can't always... You, you can force them to use certain spells in certain ways, but I tend to use this only for healing me because I tend to be more tanky. Um... And I usually like to have my followers heal me, so I stay alive. You know, that's important. But let's teach her these spells. Healing and Conjure Familiar. Okay, that's good. Good day. Good day. All right. So now we're going to teach her another healing spell, like Heal Other is a good one. And Healing Hands is good also. Um... This way they can heal others right and not just I'll themselves. And plus you can use you can use the one spell for them to heal you, which helps a lot if you're being tanky like I like to do. So teach her both of those. You oh hold up. Come back here. I'm just out and about. All right, so we're teach her these spells. She's open mouthed. She's like, "You've interrupted me. I was working, and you've interrupted my work. I cannot believe it." All right, so we got right. that. Now, what else do we want to teach them? Now, I really want to teach them some destruction. Firebolt and Flames, two good basic spells right that they will be able to use in combat. What do you want oh, I carry? hit the wrong button. P pardon me. That was... That was terrible. Alright. So, I know it, it takes a few minutes to do this, okay? It does, and... And hopefully, though, if you see me do this, you know, you'll you'll see it's it's not anything complicated. You just equip the spells, and then you say, teach follower equipped Let's spells. Now, I'm teaching both of these the same things. You, need, you can do things differently. For the fire. Like, sometimes I'll have one of them specialize in fire, and one of them specialize in frost, and one specialize in uh, uh, shock. So you can do that. That's fun to do. Now, you can also see what spells they know. By hitting View Standard Spells, you can look and see what spells they know. See? She knows these, because we've taught her these. Before Before we taught her these, she didn't know any. Notice she doesn't have a lot of Magicka, so um, that's going to be an issue, probably. Probably what you'll need to do is, um, you know, enchant their stuff and put Magicka on their stuff so that they can uh, cast more. Um, that's just life. That's just mm. what you have to do. I don't worry about it too much right now for, for just showing you this. Um, 
I have Frost Spike and Ice Spike. I don't Holda. get much time off from the tavern. You don't need any time off, Holda. You're free. You're free. Don't worry about it. There you go. There you go. Alright. Now, and you can also unteach un follower equip spells. And I would recommend that if you teach them an AoE spell, that you actually undo it because they will use it in a dragon fight or any kind of fight in the middle of town and all the guards will be mad at you and you will get I, a bounty and all that and it's really frustrating so don't teach them AOE spells make sure that you teach them single target spells and they will help you you can also have them use a bow and arrow um, and most of them are inclined to do that but I find it's just as easy to just teach them some magic spells and uh have them use that but you can you can definitely give them a bow and arrow and they will use it the only follower I've had issues with that mm -hmm. with is Lydia her programming she really wants to be a tank and if I try to force her to be an archer only occasionally she glitches me, out so just a the caution there you know you could run into that sort of thing occasionally uh, but that was just with Lydia. So, okay, here we go. We're going to finish this up. Hold on. Hold on. I'm just out and about, love. I know. Just hold on. We're going to teach you a couple more. I know it's a little a little boring, okay? And I know I'm doing the same thing. But it's it's simple and easy to do. And then we're going to get into a couple of other things. Because I'm actually going to take these out and let them let them fight a little bit. It'll be funny. Um, they don't really have any, a lot of magic though, so they're probably going to fight physically a lot. But that's okay. They they'll use their magic a little bit as long as they have mana. Okay. Now after this, if you want them to be a healer, see, I taught them those healing spells on purpose. Here's the best way I know to do this. Now, someone else may have a better idea, I don't know, or just something that suits you better. But I find if I have them use this, now I put it on both hands just to make sure that they that it affects just this spell, okay? But I find that this spell works very well. I'm right behind you. What you do is you go into Tweak Options and Magic, and you tell her you're going to set Tweak Spell 1. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, and who? They're going to use the spell that you have uh, equipped. That's why I put it on both hands to make sure there's no confusion. It's going to be that spell that heals. So who should this spell target? The player. That's me. I want them to heal me. When my health is 75% or less. I know it doesn't say or less, but so far I can say this works. And then I don't set, and it says not enough magic. She doesn't have enough magic to even cast it. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll give her. Maybe I'll. Uh, maybe I'll fix up their clothes before we go out. You, you don't have to be bored with that, because you can enchant. You can take their clothes and enchant them and fix them up for them. All right. So let's do the that's same for Holda. I don't get much time off from the this. This makes them much more useful as followers, um, because then they can heal you as well as help fight. Now, admittedly, I gave them a sword and shield, so if they're so inclined, they will use that. I'm going to set her tweak spell the same. I still have the same spell equipped, the same healing spell. And she can't cast it either, but that's okay. I'm going to leave it that way. That won't hurt anything right now. All right. All right, then. So, now there's other things you can look at. I've got your back. Under tweak options, if you come down, you can look at their info. Like, she's going to be, she's going to auto level up. I've never done the manual, so I can't talk to you about that. You could play around with it, but I don't know anything about it. I let it happen. Okay, you can hit view. This is going to give you a lot of basic information. She is level four. Um, she has that many, that much health and stamina and magicka. She's got some slight regen of health and stamina and magicka. 
She has some poison resist and she has some armor rating. Her one handed. She seems to be best at one handed. And after that, uh, she does okay with block and pickpocket and speech, which is funny. But okay, so she has that. And she does do a little destruction. If you, you know, all these skills are pretty. I would say she's pretty flexible. You could probably have her do whatever you want. So I might make her just a mage only. But we'll worry about that in a minute. You lead. I'll follow. Okay. Hold up. If it's work you need. Now, oh, how about did I look at everything? Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to go back and we're going to look at Hulda in, in the same way. Okay. So, we did this view here. Now, Hulda is also very similar. Very similar. Her one-handed, her, her um, skills are a little different. But you'll notice still very flexible, very basic skills. And armor rating, no resistance. A lot of the other stats are the same. Again, you can look at spells, and it's going to show probably all the spells we taught her. There you go. And then you can look at perks. I forgot to show you this. And in this case, she has no perks, so that's okay. And then you can... I don't usually even mess with the AI at all. That's fine. I don't see any problem with that. They Basically, they will help you and do whatever you want. If you're a bad guy, they will be a bad guy, you know. And then here's miscellaneous. This is just some stuff. I, 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 you know, it's not a big deal. It just tells you some other information. Let's see, is there anything else worth really seeing? Uh, the only other things, like you can have them pose if you want. I don't really. I, I have done this a few times for a picture, but I don't usually do it. But like this, you can say that. Now she will take that pose and she will Get hold there. it. Until you would... No, you're supposed to hold it. Hold on. I'm just hold talking up. about love. That the was not right. Can do without me. That was not right. Hold on. Try that again. Pose. She's supposed to hold that pose. I... Oh, okay. So she's not I holding it like she's supposed to. Well, I have had it work before. Let me try a different pose. Let's try something different. You can go through these poses and play around with it. Uh, this is how some people get their followers to uh, pose. Mm -hmm. Now that one, it looks like she's going to hold that one. So she's going to hold that. She'll, she'll keep trying to look at you, though, which is kind of funny. But then... She'll break out of it if you draw your weapon. So you can play around with those. I don't usually do that. I've done it for a few pictures in the past, and that's it. So, all right. How about chopping up some wood for the fire? So, that is how I create my own followers from NPCs, especially if I like the NPC or if I just feel like it, whatever reason may hit you. You can make a copy of the NPC. And then you can give them what you want them to wear, and you can teach them the spells you want. Now, I think I'm going to make both of these really more magey, and I'm going to take them out into the wilds here in just a moment. But first, I need to kind of fix up their gear so they have enough magicka, because right now, they don't, as we saw. So, I'll be back in a minute. <coughs> Alright, I just noticed something about Holda, and I'd forgotten to mention this. If it's work you need... I don't the difference with her is pattern. that we made her enjoy it when I do. using the uh, the AFT power. So you notice I don't have the option to trade with her here. So when you get someone, if you have a certain follower and they don't have the option to trade with them here, you can still go into tweak options and gear, and you can still swap their gear in and out here. You can still take whatever you don't want them to have, and you can... Because I'm going to take this stuff and enchant it, but I wanted to show you that. But you can take this stuff away, and she'll put back her own stuff, her old stuff on, which is fine. And um, so you can still do it there, even if it's not on the main menu here, like for trading, you know, where I need to trade things for you. So I wanted to make a note of that real fast for you. I'll be back in a minute. Oh. 
All right, I'm done with fixing them up and gearing them. So let me show you with the gear now and everything enchanted they should have better mana and all that. Let's do, um, I think we can just view here. And you see they have 432 Magicka. Let's see, and what else can we show? We can do the, spur the spells here, the Spurks. We can do the Spurks. The spell sees 432 Magicka and then all these spells will now be castable. Shouldn't be a problem if we go back. Let's see, can we look at magic? Maybe we should have looked at magic. Maybe that would have been easier. Um, we can just view standard spells. Is that going to be the same? I think that's going to be the same menu we already looked at. Yep. But anyway, so she has 432 magicka now, and I think you're going to find that Holda has very similar, I'm just if not exactly love. the same. Let's just go to magic. We're not going to spend too much time on this, but just to show you. And 432, and yes, she can cast. So they'll cast these spells as it makes sense to them. I took their weapons away. I want Good them day. to be casters, and we're going to let Penny here, go let her kind of tank it a little bit. I forgot if I made her a bow. I thought I did. Hold on a second. We could do a bow and shoot from a distance. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't know if I made her a bow. I meant to. Do we have a bow on us? We do have an orcish bow. We have the Nord hero bow. Why don't we use the Nord hero bow? Do we have any arrows? I got stupid iron arrows. We, we definitely need better arrows than that. I have steel. That's still not very impressive if you ask me. Let's go down and make some Daedric arrows, which will produce some good damage. Alright. Okay, so we did that. I'm right oh my goodness. I'm whirling myself around. So let's see. So we chose the Nord bow, the Nord hero bow. It does good damage. She's still wearing the God's ring, so it's going to be it's going to be ridiculous damage, I guess. Um, we'll fix that though in a minute, and we'll we'll let her risk her life without. There we go. All right. Okay, so I'm going to take these girls outside of White Run, and we're going to go find some trouble, and uh, I will be back in a moment. All right, so I want you to see we have our Holda, and we have this Sadia, or however you would say her name. But the original Holda is still here. And while our Holda is talking to us, she's still here too. And let's see. Well, here's Alfina, who we were looking for, but that's okay. We don't. We don't have to use her. What are you looking at? That's Carl. Oh, here and here's the original Sadia. That's what I wanted to show you. So see. We didn't have any adverse effect on them. I just wanted you to see that. Now we're going to go. I'll see you outside of White Run. Working. All right. Just so you know, I have the I have the heavy metal um, combat mod on the newest version of it. So we're going to see what we can find out here. I'm sure there will be some bad guys somewhere for us. And you can see how they will fight and use their spells and different things. There we go. There's... Wait, that's just deer. Oh. That's just deer. I thought all those had been replaced by our bad guys. Hmm. I wonder if I forgot to do a reset. Wait, here we go. Here's some bad guys. They're not helping me at all. Why are they not helping? 
Okay, hold on. We got to figure this out. My sound is acting weird, too. Go here, go here. Oh. Oh, here we go. There they go. Now, now they're doing that. I don't know what the difference was and why they weren't attacking to begin with. There you go. All right, there we go. Oh, and a dragon. You know when it rains, it pours. But this is a good test for them. Watch this. I'll just here. We we'll just we'll just do this. We'll let them do their thing. <laughs> this is pretty fun. Oh, there goes the dragon again. Oh, what's that? In oh, some mod. Okay, we'll explain that in a minute. He can't really kill me. It's the dragon. Oh, hello. The dragon is here. They can't kill me. I have the mod ring on. But I was wanting to see. This is a bad sign. Something up there, that means there's junk somewhere. That means one of the uh, mods in our load order is not good. I don't know which mod that is. I'll have to figure that out. Let's take this dragon down. Y you see the you know, my point, though, and we'll worry about the rest of this stuff later. But, um... They had their spells and they did use them, even if they have to act it a little glitchy at first. Um, they will use those spells. Oh, what manner of magic is this? I still have a red dot somewhere. Who or what is this? Oh. Oh, this is one of those. Wow, he looks pretty cool. Look at that. Look at that. He looks nice. Well, I mean, you know, he looks bad and vicious, but you get the point. Look at that. I'm, I'm in a low-level character. You're supposed to come out with a high-level character to see some of these guys. Oh, look at that. They're busy over here. We're missing the action. Let's go over here. See, they're helping Fi over here. Oh, there you go. Look at Hona. She's burning him down. That's pretty cool, actually. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change my settings for a moment. We're going to take a few pictures. This will be fun. Stupid, but fun. Oh, no. I'm going to see. Hold on, letting him have it. There we go. That's a good picture right there. It's a good action shot. Oh. Is something else on me? It's another stupid dog. Oh, there we go. Now we got Sadia. Let's get her in the picture here. Well, she's keeping her distance. Oh, there we go. Well, that's not as good as the other one. But it'll be okay. This guy is going to take special attention. He's not going to die easily. Look at that. He's just so mad. All right. Anyway, let's see if he's got any weird loot. He's got the battle axe. Huh. All right. Anyway, you got to see them in action. They will... They will fight for you that way. I could have done their weapons and they would fall with the weapons too, but I thought it would be fun to see them use the magic. That's what I like. It's kind of fun that way for me. 
Um, but you can outfit them with whatever you want and they will use it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that would make sense to show you that would make a difference in AFT. Not really. There are the poses and uh, there is one thing right like let's see you can say I need you to do something all right what is it and really all you're doing is you're just telling them hold on let me change my I should have changed this because you can't see this all you're really doing when you do this is you're just telling them to wait here and you click on that and then she should walk over there and she did not okay no okay let's try again sorry I must have messed it up still here Okay. So. All right. What is it? Okay. Now. What do you mean? Yeah. Here we go. Now it should be wait here. Okay, she'll walk it. there. Now she'll Anything stay else? there until you're ready to leave, and then you talk to her. We heading out. And she'll wait there forever. Okay. She'll wait there forever until you come back and say, "Follow me." Let's get going. Okay. So me, just just a warning. Chopping up some wood and for the fire. Holda will always act like the innkeeper she is. So you will just always hear her talking about. Chomping wood and doing stuff. So, you know, choose your um, choose your followers carefully and, and get what you want. But I think that shows you that's just what I usually do. That's how I usually do it. So I hope that is helpful to you. Um, it's not very difficult, but to do everything I do requires those two mods, the cheat room and AFT. Now, you can use immersive follower framework, I believe. Um, from what I remember, from what I did Still with that, here. it works. It does basically most of the same Please, things, do something. but it does it in a different way. So, um, I don't know what she's hollering about. There's a giant out there. Still here. Oh, I'm not going to get involved in anything else right now. Okay, because we got other shows to do. So, I want to, like I said, I hope this is helpful to you. And, uh, Someone do something. You have a good day, and I will catch you later. Hey! What did you do that for? You some kind of maniac?